Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna tell you about all the books that I've read in July. I read eight books in total. It's been a while since I read this many books in one month and when I wanted to take the thumbnail for this video I've discovered that all the books that I've read this month are either audiobooks or ebooks. That's why I don't have any books in my thumbnail. The first book that I finished in July and it is the only book that I own physically is The Goldfinch by Donna Tart. How many times did I promise you that I'm gonna film and post a review for The Goldfinch and I didn't? But I'm working on it right now and I'm gonna post it next week. And if I didn't post it, I will stop filming YouTube videos altogether. I gave it 3.5 out of 5 stars. I'm thinking about pumping it to 4 stars, but I'll decide in my review video. I'm gonna go more in depth in the review about my thoughts, what I liked and disliked in the Goldfinch. The second book that I finished in July is Bygan Badass Broads by Mackenzie Lee. So Mackenzie Lee started this weekly Twitter series called Bygan Badass Broads, where she talked about 52 great and forgotten women from all around the world and throughout history and this series become very popular and Mackenzie Lee turned it to a book each woman has her own chapter under her name in this book with a beautiful illustration done by Petra Erickson I honestly love this book and I'm really shocked that nearly no one talks about it here on booktube I got introduced to many great women that I've never heard about from a Mediterranean pirate queen to an Indian mom who fought colonialism to a Nigerian lady who led the women's war in Nigeria. I give this book 4 out of 5 stars and the only reason why I didn't give it 5 out of 5 stars is because I wanted to see more women from outside the US and the UK. There were a big number of women from the US and the UK but the stories of the women from outside them were 1 million times better than the one from the US and the UK but overall it is a really great book and I highly recommend it the next book that I finished in July it is No Exit by Taylor Adams it is a thriller book following a college student called Derby Thorne who is traveling to Utah to see her dying mother when she is caught in a blizzard in the mountains of Colorado and because the roads are hard to travel through because of the blizzard she waits to the, for the blizzard to end in a rest house with four other people. She goes outside of the rest house to try to find a signal for her phone to call her family when she accidentally finds a girl locked in a cage in the back of a parked van. And the story starts from here. It's not really a mystery story, it is more of a thriller because we get to know who is the kidnapper from early on of the book. It is a fun fast read i read it in two settings and i gave it three out of five stars and now for all the books that i read in the reading rush readathon the first book that i read in the reading rush is the girl from the other side by nagabi i read it for two challenges the first one is to read a book that starts with the word the and to read a book completely outside of your house it takes place in a faraway land with two kingdoms the inside and the outside. The outside is where the beasts are and their touch curse. And the inside is where humans safely live. And the story follows the unusual friendship between a beast and a little girl. I really enjoyed this manga. I finished volume one in less than one hour and I really liked it. It has a really beautiful drawing style and the relationship between the beast and the little girl is really cute. When I finished the first volume, I really wanted to immediately start the second one, but I stopped myself and decided to wait until the reading rush is over. And when I finished the reading rush, I immediately started volume two and I gave volume one and volume two four out of five stars. The second book that I've read for the reading rush is Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. I've read it for the challenges, read a book that inspired a movie that you've already seen and the challenge to read a book from a genre that you've always wanted to read more of. I really loved, loved this book and I'm shocked at how much I remembered from all the movies and cartoon that I watched when I was little about Peter Pan and the Peter Pan the book was really magical and fun to read and in some parts was quite emotional too. I wish that I've read Peter Pan when I was younger but 
Either way, I'm glad that I grew up with all the movies and cartoon of Peter Pan. I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars. My next read was If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. This one I picked for the challenge to read the first book that you touch. And I picked it by touching a random place in my saved list in script. It is about a group of theater students and the murder mystery of one of them. At first I was really confused who everyone was because I'm really bad with names. I was like, who are you? Who are you? But then I started to distinguish them, thankfully. There are a lot of drama and Shakespeare in this novel and I enjoyed it way more than I thought I would. It made me want to read more Shakespeare because I only read Macbeth by Shakespeare and I was really mad at my university for not teaching us more Shakespeare and we were freaking English literature students. I read it by listening to the audiobook and it was a really good audiobook. I gave the novel uh, 4 out of 5 stars. It is everything the secret history wanted to be and failed. And the last book that I've read in July for the reading rush is The Diviners by Libra Bray. I read it for the challenges to read a book with the cover that matches the color of your birthstone and the challenge to read a book that takes place in a different continent than the one that you live in. Everyone in my comment section for the reading rush tip or video was really excited about specifically this book to know what I think about it. It is a paranormal historical fiction that takes place in New York in the 1920s. It follows the story of Evie who is forced by her parents to go and live with her uncle in New York. Her uncle has a museum for creepy things and old historical things. He is asked to join the investigation of a series of murders and Evie joins in with him. I listened to the audiobook. It is a good book. It's not scary at all as people claim it to be. I would have loved this book five years ago because this kind of book was my shit five years ago. But overall I found it to be too long and not scary at all. I wanted it to be shorter and better. I probably won't read the rest of the series because I didn't get attached to the story enough to read even more long books about it. I overall gave it three stars out of five. So that's it for all the books that I've read in July. I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm not gonna force myself to post a video every Monday. I'm gonna post a video once a week or twice a week but not every Monday. It may be Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please tell me in the comment section how many books you've read in July. And tell me what is your favorite book that you've read. Please subscribe to see my future videos and I will see you next time. Bye!